Good afternoon everyone, I'm Thomas Lavacoli, I'm a Senior Technical Specialist here at Autodesk Australia. Um, so what I'm going to go over today is just a quick little five minute video about um, using the DWIF markup capabilities uh, within AutoCAD. So I guess in theory the workflow would be that someone would draft the PNID, send it off to another person, another group, another company, and that person would mark up um, the pin ID electronically and send back those markups and then uh, someone else can change those markups uh, into actual pin ID items. So I've just got my sample pin ID here uh, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is just print it out just to a DWIF file. Um, again, I'm not too fussed on any of the settings or anything else. I'm just plotting it to a normal DWIF. Stick it on my desktop here. Okay, and then I'm going to use Design Review. Admittedly, it says 2013 here, but that's what it is. So I've got that markup there. Um, so now, what I want to do, maybe uh, from this person's standpoint, is just draw a line. So from here, we're going to go up and here across. Uh, and then maybe we're going to do put in a valve symbol. Okay, and then we're going to put in some text and call it a four inch line. Okay, so it's a rough markup. It is what it is. So once you're happy with it, we could go through and, and maybe cloud those, I guess, as well. Um, Just put it on there as, as a change. Okay, just to denote that it, that it is, is, uh, has been put in there. So I'm going to close that off. And then here inside the pin ID, I'm going to uh, load up my menu bar and we're going to load the markup set which is contained within that DWIF file. Okay, and then you can see here we've got all those lines, that valve and that, that pipe um, that's been marked up in there as well. So from a pen ID sense, now I'm going to start drawing in my lines. So I do want it to come up to here somewhere and then over. Obviously your pen ID will be correct, will be the one uh, that will get uh, put into the, into the model. So then we've done the line, now we're going to put a gate valve in there. It tells me I need unique tags. Okay, and then I know it's going to be a four inch line. So then I assign the tag, put it in there as four inch. As spec CS150, I know that it's glycol return and I know that it's going to have double nine, double nine and I will place the annotation tag there as well. Okay, so I'll just snap that there somewhere. So now, what I can do is say that it's been questioned, that it's for review and it has been done. So I'm going to say that it has been done, that's been done, that's been done, and they've all been done basically. And I can even, I guess, turn around and just close it. Okay, so you can see those changes have been brought over into the model. So I'm just going to switch this valve over. And, okay. So again, just a quick, easy way, I guess, if you really wanted to have a start looking at having a paperless uh, office with your PNIDs, there's uh, a quick little video on showing how to use AutoCAD PNID, the DWIF, and the markups.